but he got it going for him. Uh, he had their uh, first uh, 16 or 19 points. Uh, he, he got on a hot streak and he never looked back. And so it was kind of tough to stop him after that, uh, after letting him get get a couple good good looks. Um, and he let those fall. Um, and the basket kind of looked like the ocean for him. Um, and then it kind of seeming seemingly looked like that for the entire team. And it was just uh, tough. Uh, to, to kind of fight back and, and fight back from the tough shots that, that didn't go in for us. This loss hurts, but um, my career as an Aztec has been amazing. Um, I wouldn't trade for the world. Uh, I think uh, coming in, uh, I think I chose the right school. Um, I think I chose to come back from my senior year, uh, making the right decision, um, and I, I wouldn't change it for the world. I definitely feel like we could have done a better job. Uh, I know he hit some tough ones for sure, but when a guy gets rolling like that, um, you got to find ways to stop him. We gave him, you know, to, to a casual fan, it doesn't seem like he got some easy ones, but he got some easy ones for him, for, for a player of his cal shooting caliber. And that just can't happen to, to win a tournament game. I mean, I knew how tough it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be easy playing against his zone. You know, but we, we I mean, we fought till then. Um, it is what it is. It means a lot. Um, it means a lot, like I said in the other interview, I just, I'm extremely grateful for, for them, you know, taking, taking me, um, letting me be a part of this family for four years. Um, you know, we had some great moments. I'm not really able to, to elaborate on, on them right now. Um, my, that's not really what I'm thinking about, but I do know that I'm just extremely grateful. And, um, you know, win, win or lose, I always give the glory to God. So that's that. Well, we've been a great defensive team all year. Our numbers reflect that. But uh, when you run into a hot player in March, like Buddy Beheim, he did that in the ACC tournament. He did it down the stretch in the ACC. And so we knew he was hot. We tried to make him contested. But to his credit, he stepped up and made big plays in March like uh, really good players do. Yeah, this has been an amazing group of players. I'm so grateful to my seniors uh, that missed out on the tournament last year, came back for their senior years, dealt with COVID protocols, did what it was ever asked of them uh, to get themselves onto the floor and then to hang two banners, a regular season, a conference championship banner is just tremendous accomplishments. And obviously we're disappointed that uh, we didn't make a deeper run in March. You know, that's our goal. We want to make a deep run in March. But I also told them there'll be only one team that walks out of this undefeated. And so I was hoping our loss, if we had one, would come a little later, but it happened tonight. And so uh, we had to immediately reflect on the year, all the great things that we did and accomplished and how proud I was of each and every one of them. Well, Matt and Jordan, uh, and Adam Seiko too, even though he was a redshirt junior, started with me four years ago, my first year as a head coach. Uh, they've been to two NCAA tournaments, would have gone last year to three. Uh, they hung uh, four conference championship banners. So uh, what they've done is, is amazing. And I'm so proud of, of having them with me my four years, and I'm gonna miss them all dearly.